All right, so in this video I want to talk about the vector product. Now this gets a little bit heavy, so make sure you're ready to take some notes, make sure you're ready to draw some pictures, and make sure you're ready to think a little bit, because we end up in three dimensions and it gets a bit, bit tricky. Get yourself settled, get ready, let's go. First bit, two vectors that aren't parallel define a plane. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's take a look, I'm going to use GeoGebra. So I'm going to create two vectors, Remember, two vectors define a plane. Three, four. So there's one vector heading off into space. You can see we're working in 3D here. Okay, I'm going to create a second vector called V. Just making this pretty arbitrary. All right, there's my two vectors. Now, when I say two vectors, actually, let's come up with two slightly different ones. All right, that looks better. There's my two vectors. You can see a vector heading off into space in that direction, a vector heading off into space in that direction. Now, we can draw a plane through those two vectors. Let's see what a plane through those two vectors looks like. So, plane, I'm going to put it through the origin and then through the two vectors. All right, here we go. So, this is useful. Now, you can see we've got these two vectors that are heading off into, into space, this way and this way, and then we can draw a plane through those. Now, what the vector product is going to allow us to do is find a vector that is uh, perpendicular to both of those vectors. That also means that it's going to be perpendicular to the plane. If that didn't make sense, that's okay, because you're going to look at it and you're going to go, oh, that makes sense. Now, sometimes the vector product is called the cross product, so I'm just typing the word cross in down the bottom here. I'm going to do the cross of u and v. And you can see it's given me a new vector here, w. And you can see that that vector is heading off way into space over there. But, more importantly, you can see that it is at right angles to our plane. It is going straight away from our plane. Now, of course, I can test that. I can just use my little angle tool here. The angle between vector u and vector w, 90 degrees. Hopefully, you can see that. And the vector between v and w, 90 degrees. That's getting a bit hard to see. All right, you can see there's a 90 degree angle between here and here, and there's that perpendicular line there. We can also send a perpendicular line the other way. Uh, I'll just do a quick cross. Uh, but not uv this time, cross uh, vu. Alright, and you can see a perpendicular line heading the other way out of the plane instead of that way out of the plane. Now that you've seen it on this, this image, let's, uh, let's do something a little more concrete, something we can carry around with us. Okay, a vector, so my finger can be one of the vectors, my thumb can be another vector. Now, a plane is defined by those two vectors, so a flat plane. If I move my, my hand up, then the flat plane goes, goes along there. Now, a perpendicular, if I put that straight outwards, you can see thumb flat, this one flat, finger moving straight upwards. That's a perpendicular vector to these other two vectors. Okay, uh, that's the vector product. That's at least a type of vector product. Um, I'm going to pause here, let you gather your thoughts a little bit, uh, and then we'll actually draw this on paper now that we've seen what it looks like in 3D.